We introduced an initiative whereby the police work alongside the ambulance service on the paramedic police response unit. And the idea behind that is to free up ambulance services and also free up police resources because both services were struggling to cope with the amount of calls that we were receiving to people in the city centre of Hull that were coming out getting drunk and then requiring the services of the ambulance and the police to deal with their issues. This is a better way of working simply because when you look at things historically, if the ambulance service were called to an incident where it was potentially going to be violent when they arrived, they would then call the police and it meant that there were two units going down to one incident. When we go to the scene, the paramedic can deal with the injured party. The police officer is literally there to make sure the paramedic doesn't get into any trouble. Okay. All right. No other injuries? Yeah, we've had a report of um, an assault inside a pub. The offenders run off. We are going to send some police back up to it anyway, but we're going to respond as a paramedic unit. We get a lot of assaults, hand injuries, facial injuries, things like that, that we would normally deploy an ambulance to. And you can imagine that ambulance is better fitted going to someone having a heart attack, maybe a serious road traffic accident, where they would normally be conveying the patient to hospital with a minor injury. We're now stopping that. Since the joint patrols are set up on a Friday and Saturday night, it has reduced the number of people that attend the a &E department because they're dealing with them on the street. So it has had a massive reduction in the number of people that attend under the influence of drink, which makes it a lot less pressure on the security guards and the nurses staff and the doctors as well. Just those crowded arteries just there. You're very lucky. We'll assess the patient. Do they need to go to hospital? Can they make their own way with friends? Do they need to go at all? We can just treat them on scene and send them on the way. Just to let you know, ambulance is not required. Uh, they're going to make their own way over. I think if other forces see what we're actually doing and how easy it's been to achieve, then this could be the norm and it saves a lot of time, it saves a lot of resources. So there is a knock-on effect right down the line. Police can go to other jobs, ambulances can go to other jobs, and there is no doubt in my mind that lives have been saved as a result of this.